On the Great Plains, just east of the Rocky Mountains, lies one of America's most closely guarded secrets. Scattered along an unremarkable road, the U.S. keeps some of its most powerful weapons. We've been granted rare access to the front line of the nation's nuclear deterrence to step inside a bunker that has the capability to launch nuclear war. I'll be your escort official during your visit to the missile alert facility. Do you understand your responsibilities while under escort in the restricted? I do. Okay. Behind these gates in Nebraska, airmen and women hold the world's fate in their fingertips. If we have a rapidly emerging crisis that requires uh, the use of ICBMs, uh, we, we can respond to the president's direction in minutes. The country now has 400 ICBMs or intercontinental ballistic missiles. Each is much more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Thank you very much. Security is tight at what feels like the entrance to another universe. We're about to go more than 70 feet underground to the launch control center where men and women known as missileers are on alert 24 hours a day. And test lamp push button pressed. If Donald Trump orders a strike, Air Force officers Crowley and Bryant can launch warheads within minutes. Typically, day to day, we are responsible of 10 nuclear warheads. That's an uh, enormous and pretty terrifying prospect. Definitely an uh, enormous amount of power, but we take the responsibility seriously to the point where we're always training and we're always innovating. They are rigorously and regularly assessed, taking part in daily drills for an event that will likely never come. I mean, how can you be passionate about sitting underground for 24 hours at a time? It's kind of like camping on an airplane, but you become so invested in the mission and the people that you, you love what you do. I think that's what surprised me the most. And when the time comes to launch, this command center was built in the 1960s, but the threat is evolving. A missile from F.E. Warren was recently test launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Back at base, Colonel Matthew Dillo insists it's not a knee-jerk response to provocations from North Korea. This isn't saber rattling by the United States. This is a very deliberate um, number of operational tests that we do that are pre-planned and and scheduled over the course of the year. But will the new commander-in-chief take a new tack? What I've seen through several administrations is that no matter what political affiliation the president has, uh, when they see sort of the underlying security conundrum that they're faced with, they may argue about what the posture is and what the force structure mix is and how much investment to have in that, but they all reach the same underlying conclusion is that the nuclear deterrent force is absolutely critical to national security. The colonel described this as a Rolls Royce that's had a lot of mileage. America's foes know where it's parked, but it's still seen as something they can't afford to close the door on. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Nebraska.